Lecture 1C. Continuing the concepts of motion, focusing on acceleration and velocity. Velocity is displacement over time. Recall that the displacement is change of position with direction. So change of position over time is speed. Speed with direction is velocity. Or velocity is the derivative of a position over time. Acceleration is how the velocity changes over time, or it's the derivative of velocity with respect to time, which would make it the double derivative of position with respect to time. Conceptually, velocity is speed with direction. Acceleration is about how the speed, the direction, or both changes. So there's acceleration if something is speeding up. It's called acceleration if something is slowing down. We don't use the word deceleration in physics. It's also acceleration if it's slowing down. And something can be changing direction, even if it's going at a constant speed, such as the person on the motorcycle could go over the hill at a constant speed, say 30 miles an hour, constant speed of 30 miles an hour over the hill, but the object is accelerating because it's changing direction. As long as the direction has changed, there's acceleration, even if the speed has not. And of course, both can come into play. The object can go over the hill at a changing speed and a changing direction. In terms of vectors and motion diagrams, we see this race car. The displacement is increasing over time. It's gaining speed. The velocity vectors we see at the top are getting larger, which means if it's gaining speed, there's acceleration. The acceleration is in the same direction or with the velocity. The speed is being added over time, or the velocity is being increased over time. So there's acceleration. A rule of thumb is when the acceleration and velocity vectors are pointing in the same direction or parallel, speed is gained. On our next drawing, the motion diagram is showing the race car slowing down. The velocity vectors are getting smaller. Speed is being lost. Acceleration is pointing in the opposite direction, or negative acceleration with positive velocity. The acceleration is taking away from the velocity. The speed is being lost, so we know it's accelerating. The acceleration is pointing in the opposite direction as velocity, signifying that the velocity vector and the velocity is being reduced by the, by the acceleration, or when acceleration and velocity point in the opposite direction, or anti-parallel, this indicates that speed is being lost, or something is slowing. The velocity could be negative, and the acceleration could be positive, and it would still be slowing, because the vectors of acceleration and velocity, as long as they're in opposing directions or anti-parallel, something is slowing down. Signs of vectors are arbitrary, but by convention, we have position to the right of an origin, the positive x positions. Positions to the negative of the origin are the considered the negative, uh, to the left of the origin are considered the negative positions. If the displacement and therefore the velocity or motion are pointing towards values of positive x or pointing towards the right, then we consider the velocity vector to be positive. If it's pointing towards the right, the direction that, that x is the direction of positive x. If the velocity vector points in the direction to the left, that's the direction of the negative x. If the velocity is pointing to the east by convention, we say it's positive. To the left, we say the velocity is negative. If the velocity points to the north, that would be positive. If the velocity points to the south, it is negative. If the velocity vector points up, it is positive versus down, which is negative. The same is true with the acceleration. If the acceleration points in the direction to the right, north, east, then it's considered positive. If the acceleration points south, west, down, to the left, it's considered negative. Notice they didn't say that the acceleration is positive if something is increasing or decreasing speed. Acceleration 
is positive, it's going to the right, north, up, east. Acceleration can be positive, but if the velocity is negative, it's slowing. Acceleration can be pointing to the left, negative, and so they can still be gaining speed if the vector of velocity is also pointing to the left. In this example, the velocity is up, the object's position is above the origin, and the acceleration is pointing above the origin towards positive x values or pointing up. So both the acceleration and the velocity are positive, which means the object is gaining speed. Here we have a velocity pointing down the y-axis or pointing perhaps south or west. This velocity is negative. The acceleration is also pointing in that same direction, negative. The acceleration and the velocity are parallel to each other. So this is an example of something that's gaining speed. The object is at a position beneath the origin or in the negative, uh, in negative values of y. Its velocity is negative and its acceleration is negative. So it is gaining speed in the negative direction. Negative acceleration, negative velocity are parallel or pointing in the same direction. That means the velocity vector is going to increase in magnitude. It's increasing in its speed. Negative acceleration can also mean an increase in speed. It only means increasing in speed if the velocity is also pointing in the same direction as the acceleration. Let's test out these ideas. We have six motion diagrams, A through F. Which motion diagram corresponds to a positive acceleration? Looking at A, we see from the start these vectors, these velocity vectors are gaining in, they're growing in size, they're gaining in magnitude. This is something that's gaining speed going to the right. So the object is gaining speed to the right. The velocity vectors are positive because they're pointing to the right, and the velocity vectors are getting bigger to the right. So the acceleration and velocity must be parallel if it is gaining speed. If velocity is positive, acceleration must be positive because they must be parallel to gain speed. So choice A has a positive acceleration because the object is going to the right and gaining speed to the right. Acceleration and velocity are parallel in choice A. In choice B, from start, the motion diagram shows us the velocity vectors are decreasing in size. The velocity is positive or pointing to the right, but if the velocity is being reduced, the acceleration must be pointing in the opposite direction. When acceleration or velocity anti-parallel, the speed is being reduced. The acceleration would be negative or pointing to the left, indicating the velocity vectors are being decreased by the amount of acceleration over time. So choice B has an acceleration vector anti-parallel or negative to the positive velocity vector in B. In C, going from start, we see the velocity vectors are pointing to the left or negative, and these negative velocity vectors are growing. So the object is gaining speed to the left or gaining speed in the negative direction. Therefore, if it's gaining speed, the acceleration must point in the same direction parallel to the velocity. If the velocity is negative, the acceleration must be negative because a pair of acceleration and velocity vectors in the same direction indicates an increase in speed is what we have in C. So acceleration and velocity point in the negative direction to indicate the gain in speed that we see in C. So this is an example of negative acceleration with a gain in speed. And in choice B, we have negative acceleration with a loss of speed. So again, acceleration negative or positive does not indicate speed being gained or lost. Acceleration negative with positive velocity is a loss of speed, as in B. Acceleration negative with negative velocity is a gain in speed. Acceleration corresponding to velocity can tell us whether the speed is being gained or lost or direction is being changed. In D, from start, we see the velocity vectors are pointing to the left or negative. We have negative velocity vectors that are being decreased. The motion is decreasing in choice D. The negative velocity vectors are decreasing. The acceleration must be opposed to or anti-parallel to it or taking away from that velocity vector. So here's a positive acceleration as we have in A, but in choice D, this positive acceleration is relating to slowing. 
In E, the velocity vectors haven't changed size. The motion is uniform. Acceleration is zero, uniform motion. In F, it's the exact opposite of E, going to the left. The motion is again uniform. Acceleration is zero. Velocity and displacement have not changed over time. Let's check another question here. We, Mike jumps out of a tree and lands on a trampoline. That's what we see in the image. The trampoline sags two feet before launching Mike back into the air. At the very bottom where the sag is the greatest, Mike's acceleration is what? Is acceleration upward at the instant we're looking at? Is his acceleration downward at the instant it is looking at, we are looking at? Or is, does he have no acceleration the instant we see? Let's go piece by piece. Acceleration relates to a change in velocity, change in speed and direction. Does Mike change his speed? Well, he's falling, he's slowing down because of the trampoline, and then he's going to increase his speed as he's going to go back, being tossed up from the trampoline. So the trampoline slows Mike down, so the trampoline definitely has an acceleration on Mike. The trampoline speeds Mike up after this instant we're looking at as he's going on his way back up to gain speed to be tossed up. So his speed is changing. Mike is definitely being accelerated by the trampoline. Mike is also changing direction. He's going down, and at this instant he's turning around to go back up. So both his speed and direction are changing. So this trampoline has accelerated Mike to slow him down, turn him in the opposite direction, and speed him up. So we have a velocity vector indicating initially vi that Mike is going down. Afterwards, v final, after the instant we're looking at, Mike is on his way up. So his speed has been reduced and then increased, so we have acceleration, and his velocity has changed direction from pointing down to pointing up right before we see what happens to Mike and right after we're seeing what's happening to Mike. On his way down to on his way up. Change of speed and change in direction of these velocity vectors indicates there must be acceleration. But what is the direction of the acceleration? The acceleration slowed Mike on his way down, so it's got to be opposite the initial velocity vector. He is moving down, but his acceleration reduces his speed, so the acceleration must be up, anti-parallel. And that same up acceleration is gaining speed for Mike on his way up. It's parallel to his velocity vector final. So Mike is suffering an acceleration from the trampoline upwards to slow him down on his way down and to speed him up on his way up.